Now we're going to talk about the switch statement in Python, which doesn't exist. There's no switch keyword in Python, but we're going to show you, I'm going to show you, how we can do the same thing, achieve the same thing, with a function. So here we have a function called switch example. We're going to pass over a parameter called make. We're going to assume it's a string. And what we can do is based on that string, we can return a value. So if it's a Ferrari, we're going to return this value. If it's a Honda, we're going to return this value. If it's a Toyota, we're going to return this value. And if it's not a Toyota, a Honda, or a Ferrari, we're going to return this value. So again, there's no switch keyword in Python, but you can achieve sort of the same thing with a function like this. So no big deal. However, as of Python 3.10, there is a match keyword, and it does the same functionality with a little, in you know, a couple differences. So what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that we have this match keyword now. You can pass the same parameter, the same value, and depending on that, you're going to return the value that you're interested in. But just note that there's a match and there's a case keyword. There's also this default right if it doesn't reach Ferrari Honda Toyota it's gonna return this invalid choice so that's the way to do it with the match there's a little bit more that you could do here but I'm just again oversimplifying it just to show and demo that there is a match case uh, syntax in Python and that could make your code a little bit cleaner why well if you look up here you can see that you're removing some code for example the equal equals right you're removing a little bit so it makes this makes it a little bit longer you could argue as this is a little bit more concise maybe um, and one thing to note as well if you come from different programming languages as I do just note that other switch statements have a break keyword and there's no break keyword here in Python so just bear that in mind um, that there's no such thing as a break um, in other languages if it did not um, if it found Ferrari to be the case and it would execute the body of the case and then it would need a break here right it would need a break here otherwise it would continue to go through to the to the next line well you don't need that in Python so no need to do that which is a little bit funky again if you are used to the switch statement but easy to navigate around and, and get your mind around that if if You've never seen that anyway, so just bear that in mind. I hope this helps.